Hello there, my name is Sean Delancey and I'm a school leader in London. I also run a small charitable organisation called Inclusion for All, which means that me and my school and my teachers train other teachers to support them in tackling homophobic bullying within schools. Uh, I'd like to say welcome to Anti-Bullying Week 2012. Uh, there's lots of activities going on in schools and nationally this week, and the theme this year is we're better off without bullying. Now I've got good news and bad news around this because there's lots of publicity and lots of famous people doing some really great work around bullying and in particular homophobic bullying over the last few years. However, if you think about the effects of homophobic bullying upon yourselves um, and any form of bullying, it affects your physical health, your attendance at school, your punctuality at school, your mental health, your ability to do well, it can make you feel ashamed about yourself. It can make people walk out of education earlier and that impacts upon their chances to do well in life. The scars and the wounds from bullying can stay with you for a short time, for a long time, for the rest of your life. It also means that as an adult, you might find it harder to make and keep friends, form relationships, and that you might engage in risk-taking behaviors such as alcohol or drug abuse. Unfortunately, many children and young people and adults that suffer from homophobic bullying and other forms of bullying might harm themselves or even at worst, take their own lives. Now that's quite a depressing list of effects of bullying, but there is good news as well. And the good news is that some school leaders are starting to address homophobic bullying, but only some. The majority of school leaders in this country, as far as we know, really aren't tackling this work as well as they should be. And there's more good news, because you guys, you young people out there, can empower yourselves. And there's some things that you can do and start to do today in your own schools that will help make things better for all of the children in your schools. So, for example, ask your school to run a whole school bullying survey and get them to report the findings to you. Always make sure that you know who in the school can help you if you're being bullied and make sure you tell an adult straight away. Whether it's online bullying or whether it's bullying in the playground or on the way to school or through your mobile phone. Report it. Save it. If you're hurt in school, make sure you know where to go and where to get help. Ask your school to run a diversity week which celebrates all of the backgrounds of the people in the school. Anti-bullying week celebrations, and I'm sure there's lots going on in schools this week. In February, there's also LGBT History Month, which the school can celebrate. There's also Idaho, which is the International Day of Homophobia and Transphobia. Find out more about that. Ask your school if they can do an assembly and celebrate that. Why not speak to your teachers about celebrating some influential and famous gay people, such as Alan Turing? And be clear in your own head why calling people gay or saying trainers are gay is not a great thing to do. There are lots of different meanings to the word gay and language changes over time. But a lot of people are using the word gay in a nasty way to hurt. And it's important that you and your school and your teachers understand that the misuse of the word gay can really hurt feelings and damage lives of children, young people, adults, teachers and parents. So once you've done that, don't use those words in an inappropriate way. You know, if you're upset with somebody, express it in a respectful way, talk about it. But don't throw around the words gay, lesbian, bisexual or transgender to hurt, because there's a wider impact to that. Don't always assume that everybody's family group is the same. If you try brainstorming how many different family groups there are, you will get to well above 20, more. Everybody's family group is different, Talk about it, get your school to talk about it when people arrive at the school. Celebrate all of the different family groups at school. You could do an anti-homophobic bullying assembly or campaign or poster campaign, public speaking competition, debate. There are loads of things that you can do. All of these things will help stop some of the effects of homophobic bullying and other forms of bullying that I talked about at the start of this message. 
If we get on top of homophobic bullying, it has an impact upon other forms of bullying based around prejudice and discrimination. That makes schools safer places for you and your friends and your parents and the teachers, for everybody. Because the message is clear, we're better off without bullying.